Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Clark here and you're watching I Get Food, the spot on the internet where I get to show you guys fantastic small business food spots in Toronto and the surrounding area. I'm in the Leslieville neighborhood today and I'm gonna be stopping by two shops that have some great success stories. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Let's go and do this. It's time to get food. Leslieville is where it's at and in this video, the theme is good food that comes baked in an oven. Let's kick things off with our first stop, Butter and Spice Bake Shop. At the young age of five with her Easy Bake Oven, Marshall McKenzie knew that her passion was in baking. Years of training and education, followed by stints in some of the best restaurants in New York City and London, have led her to today, where Chef McKenzie now owns and runs Butter and Spice, a gourmet bakery specializing in decadent brownies and other innovative treats that I can't wait to sink my teeth into. This here is her limited edition raspberry and brownie donut. Unfortunately, by the time this video airs, it won't be available anymore, but no worries, just follow them on Instagram. They're always baking up new and fantastic stuff here. You guys knew there was no way I was gonna come all the way to Butter and Spice Bakery and not come away with some of their famous brownies, right? Oh, they look absolutely amazing, but I think I'm gonna save them for a little bit later because right now I wanna go grab some lunch. So let's keep this food adventure going. Owners Dan and Brett, two East End dads who had a love of good music, good food, and great community, started Slow Hand Pizza in 2021 as a local pizza pop-up. But when a spot became available at the corner of Pape and Queen Street, they knew this was going to be their permanent home. You can tell that they're serious about the craft of pizza making. They describe their pizza as a little bit of Italy, a little bit of Detroit, and a little bit of San Francisco. I'd describe it as all quality and super delicious. Okay, you guys, so we've got two different pizzas here. We've got the Peter Piper as well as the Pineapple Express. What I love about this spot is just how creative they are with the names. That's fantastic. So here you are, the Peter Piper. Oh, you've got like the pepperoni on there. You've got jalapeno peppers. Oh, I love that burrata cheese. Oh, oh, that's phenomenal. Mm. Okay, and that was just the pepperoni. I haven't even gotten to the cheese yet. Mm. Oh. oh, that cheese, rich and creamy. The pepperoni and the jalapeno really gives it some of that peppery, a little spicy pop. But, you guys, that right there is the star of the show. Here at Slow Hand Sourdough Pizza, it's right in the name, Sourdough. They have perfected the sourdough here. Sorry, we're, we're doing this outdoors, so, you know, it is gonna be a little bit noisy, but no worries. Yeah, so as I was saying, the sourdough, that's, that's the main star here. See, Dan and Brett, when they set out to do pizza, they knew they wanted a nice, light, fluffy, but delicious crust. And so they chose sourdough because, of course, the flavor and the texture, but it's also like, it goes down easy. It digests easy. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, they do a 72-hour fermentation process. Mm. I'm Dan. Uh, this is my Brett. partner, Brett. 
Uh, yeah, we uh, we own and operate Slow Hand Pizza, and uh, you know we're just we're really trying to focus on a very high quality, you know, rustic pizza. Uh, we put a lot of time and effort into our dough. Our dough is probably what makes us uh, different. You know, when we started out, it was really about a quest of making flavorful, light and airy dough. And uh, we tried hundreds of recipes and, and spent countless hours in, in kitchens uh, until we kind of came up with, with what we really liked. And then we started testing it out and people loved it, right? So uh, we were like, okay, cool, maybe we've got something here. And uh, we started doing some pop-ups and, and that kind of thing. And and now, you know, we're trying to be a local neighborhood pizza place, you know, that people can rely on for having good food, you know, good music, good people, combination of, uh, of, of that. And, uh, you know, people can, can call, can walk in and and, uh, and just get a, get, a, get a pizza that they know, you know, week in and week out is gonna be, uh, is gonna be top notch. All right, this one is what they call their Pineapple Express. Now, a few people have commented because I have said in the past, I don't really enjoy pineapple on a pizza. But several people have told me, you know, like, give it a second try. Maybe you just haven't had a good pizza with pineapple on it. So, all right, you know, I got here and, you know, there's no better day to give this pizza another try than when you're here in an awesome spot, like Slow Hand, right? All right, what do we got on here? We've got Again, some more jalapeno peppers. We've got the bacon. It's on that amazing sourdough and the cheese. You know, your more classic mozzarella cheese. And then of course, there you go, the, the controversial pineapple. Let's take a big bite of this and, and let's see what I think, all right? <laughs> Mm. Saltiness of the bacon is coming through. Getting that kick from the jalapeno. The fruit on a pizza combination. I still don't know if I'm completely converted. But I will say this. It works well here. And you know what I think it is? I think it's that combination of the toppings. The saltiness of the bacon. Then you get... You know the flavor of that sourdough along with the cheese i think it was smart to to put some uh, some herbs on there as well and so you don't just get this dominant sweet flavor from the fruit coming out you know i think that's been my problem with you know hawaiian pizzas in the past you know the sweetness just came off as a little bit odd but here it's really part of the bigger picture not dominating the whole thing so. okay so <laughs> you guys saw man that that sourdough pizza was absolutely phenomenal great pair of guys in there a lot you know like, along with the whole crew as well um and the vibe out here on the patio everybody here you know in this east end neighborhood super super friendly yeah if you guys want a pretty dope pizza then uh, this this is the spot but you know what things don't don't end here right you guys remember that i went and got that six pack of brownies right all right, so, so, so I got to show you the brownies, right? But uh, I'm a little full right now. I think I'm going to head on home and uh, we'll crack open the brownies a little bit later tonight and uh, I'll tell you more about it then, all right? So see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, we're back home and as I promised you guys, we're going to check out these brownies here. Yeah, I'm ready for some dessert. Oh, so many great flavors. So at Butter and Spice, they rotate the flavors of their brownies every month. So definitely make sure that you're following them on Instagram to see what brownie flavors they have. It's June and so let's see what we got here. I've got a terrible memory, so <laughs> I'm gonna have a look and read out to you what they got. They've got the cornflake, lavender blueberry cheesecake, maple bacon, brown butter pecan pie, and plantain and dolce de leche. Oh, and cookies and cream. All right, I think I know which one I want. So this one here is their cornflake. As you can see, it's got some cornflakes on there as well, but what's neat is flavored into the caramel is some Ovaltine. Oh, how unique is that? Let's, let's open up this brownie. Oh, it's so soft. Look at that in there. It's so dense and fudgy. Mmm. <laughs> the 
cornflakes are still nice and crisp. Mmm. Oh, the salted caramel? Mmm. Mmm. A hint of that Ovaltine flavor in there. Mmm. I know Toronto's kind of having a moment with donuts, you know, and chocolate chip cookies, and I feel like brownies are kind of floating under the radar, but butter and spice, you know, during the pandemic, they kind of made their name with these gourmet brownies here. Mm. So there you have it. Some of the best things in life come baked fresh out of an oven. Want to say a huge thank you to Butter and Spice Bakery, as well as Slow Hand Sourdough Pizza. Had a great time enjoying and, of course, tasting your food. Also want to say a huge thank you to you guys as well for watching this video. You guys know the jam, right? Please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't already. Okay, it's a wrap for today, but no worries. There's plenty more exciting videos to come. But in the meantime, you guys get out there, get something tasty to eat, and then come on back. I'll see you all next time when I get food.